A City Point kids, we're excited to gather again online today to go through our Bible story today. And so we'll be in Luke chapter 2. Woo! <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Number one, that's me. Number You're one. looking at it. I'm the best. I'm the champion, the king of the crop, the best of the best, the champion of the town of Mount Vernon. You're looking at him. That's me. I'm the guy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Feels good. <laughs> Feels good. I have this trophy. What is this trophy, you ask? Well, I don't know. This trophy is only given out once every year at the annual yodeling contest right here in Mount Vernon, Washington. <sighs> Man, I can't tell you how long I have waited for this trophy. Last year, I lost to, to this guy who couldn't even yodel. What did it sound he like? It sounded like a horse. Okay. okay. But I have the most beautiful yodeling voice you've ever heard. Imagine a sick, sick swan singing to you, and that's me yodeling. And they gave me a trophy for it. It just feels so great. It's like a, a special moment in my life to have this. So I'm just going to keep this here so you guys can see it. And you watching, right? You just you got a little... Just check that. Okay. Are you done? Well, yeah. I'm just sorry. I'm pumped up. I'm so amped up. The best yodeler in Mount Vernon is me. What, do they, what does the yodeling sound like? Can you give us a, a quick yeah. snippet? Yeah. Yeah. Do you guys want to hear it? <laughs> I talk about Of course they want to hear it. All right, well, I'm going to put this down real quick. Okay, I'll hold it. Okay. Yeah. If you keep it safe. I will. My trophy. Ooh. Don't. Yo la la Yo la 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 is that good? That's pretty Come big. On. That's pretty that's, great. Wow. Yeah. Okay. That's why that trophy is in my possession. Here you go. Give it back to me. I don't trust you with this. All right. Well, we but this we, is okay. it was special. It's special for me to have this. You know what else is special? You. That's true. Yes. Okay. That, that was the wrong guess. So as I was saying uh, five minutes ago, so we are we are learning about Jesus being dedicated. Okay. Last Ooh. week. Okay. Yeah. Last week we learned about about him being born. Remember what yeah. the what did the Christ sound like? The baby Christ? No, I don't. I remember he was born in Bellingham. That was pretty. It pretty was deal. Bethlehem. Oh, okay. What did the, didn't he cry? He had different cries. What was, yeah. Can you, yeah. I don't want to cry anymore. Okay. I'm too excited to cry. Okay. So. Okay. So now he's about five weeks old, and his parents bring him to this temple to dedicate him, and make okay. some sacrifices. Okay. Uh, and we're gonna learn about that story, and then we'll come back. So let's do it. Let's check out this video. Let's watch. All right. Mary and Joseph's baby, God's own son, was a few days old when Mary and Joseph named him Jesus, just like the angel had told them to do. When Jesus was a few weeks old, Mary and Joseph took Jesus to the temple in Jerusalem. Mary and Joseph wanted to obey God and his law. The law that God gave Moses said, when a woman's first son is born, his parents must dedicate him to the Lord. The law also said, that the child's parents should give a sacrifice. At the temple, Mary and Joseph presented Jesus to the Lord and offered two birds as a sacrifice. Another man was at the temple. His name was Simeon. Simeon loved God, and he trusted in God's promise to send a Messiah to save people from sin. God's spirit was with Simeon, and God had told Simeon that he would not die until he saw the one who would rescue people from their sin. That day, God's spirit had led Simeon to the temple. Simeon saw Jesus and picked him up in his arms. God's spirit showed Simeon that Jesus was the promised Messiah. Simeon was so happy. He praised God and said, Lord, you can let me die now. You kept your promise and I have seen the one who will save people from sin. Simeon said that Jesus would save God's people, the Israelites, and Jesus would also save people from other nations. 
Mary and Joseph were amazed at what Simeon said. Simeon blessed Mary and Joseph. He told Mary that being Jesus' mother would be a very good thing, but it would also be very hard. Some people would love Jesus, but others would hate him. Things were going to happen that would make Mary very sad. A woman named Anna was at the temple too. Anna's husband had died and Anna was very old. She stayed at the temple and worshiped God all the time. Anna came up to Simeon, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, and she began to thank God. Anna talked about Jesus to people who were waiting for God to keep his promise to send a savior. She told them the good news, the savior was here. Mary and Joseph finished dedicating Jesus and making sacrifices to God. They obeyed God's law. Then they went back home to Nazareth. Jesus grew up and was strong and healthy. He was wise and God was happy with him. Throughout the Old Testament, God promised the arrival of a king who would redeem people. When Jesus arrived, Simeon and Anna knew he was the promised Messiah. Today, we have faith that Jesus is God's son. We can trust Jesus for our salvation, and like Simeon and Anna, we should share the good news. That, we just got done with our story. That was pretty awesome. So good. So we just learned Jesus, about five weeks old, was dedicated to the temple. Mary and Joseph, bring him there. Yep. Busy, right? Maybe yep. a little bit, like because there was a guy, like, like not a like a shopping mall, mall people. but there was a guy named Simon who was there. Yep. Okay. Yep. And... This is the guy that Simon Says was based off of. So just telling you. It was a game actually built in the 70s. Are you sure? Just kidding, I don't know. But it's not, there's no connection there. Okay. So anyway, this guy named Simon. Simon did say something, but uh, he said, okay. he said, hey, this isn't just any baby. This is the savior. Yeah. And you know what happened? The That's spirit. Right. Like we talked about last week, this is the talking baby. Yes. Big deal. Yeah, uh, yeah, he did cry. Do you want to show us what the cry sounded like? I could totally show you the cry sounds like. <laughs> okay. Can you show us a cry and a yodel at the same time? Um, you know, I'm going to do my best for this. The crying yodel. Okay, I'm going to do this. Here we go. Yale, yale, yale. That was incredible. <laughs> That's why that trophy is mine. That was incredible. And so, the baby Jesus wasn't crying and yodeling like that. He's probably just crying, but he goes to this temple okay. to get dedicated. And there's a guy named Simon, and the Spirit of God told him that he would see the Savior of the world before Simon died. Okay. And so he sees his baby. And instead of like, hey, here's this baby. How did he, the Spirit tell him? How do you think it told him? I don't know. I think know. it I mean, sounded maybe like. Maybe he sounded like Arnold Schwarzenegger, you know? Like, what does that sound you're like? You're going to see a baby. <laughs> Is that what he? No, he no. had more of a, a different accent. More. Okay. Um, Get more... to the chopper! This baby is coming. Is that... <laughs> no. No, he didn't okay. have that. Okay. No. Sorry. Uh, Sorry. But he had an Australian accent, probably. What was okay. that like? Crikey! There's gonna be a baby coming over here, <laughs> right? Is that? We don't know how what it sounded like, but the spirit okay. of God okay. told him that he was going to see Jesus, the Savior of the world, before he died. And he sees him, That's and he, so cool. he starts praising God. He holds Jesus, he's praising God and saying, hey, this is the Savior. Yeah. Could you imagine holding tiny baby Jesus? It would be insane. Crazy. And then this other lady named Anna, she is this older lady, she's a widow, and she comes and she sees Jesus, and she starts praising God as well. And both of these older people, they look at him, and they see the Savior of the world, and they start praising God because this baby Jesus would one day grow up. Yep. Be how old are you? How old am I? I'd I'm say 31 years old. Whoa. Yeah. Jesus at the age of 30, that's when he like started his ministry. And for three years, he was doing things and crazy yeah. miracles. And then at the age of 33, so two years from now, that's how old you'd be. Okay. For me, it's a little more than that. But yeah. at the age of 33, he died on the cross and then he defeated death. Came out of the grave. Yeah, he defeated death. And like a wrestler coming down from the top rope. Just Jesus like that. Just like, suplex! 
Could you show us a little move right here? I can't. It's, it's I'll hold the mic for you. You can do that for us. <laughs> That'd be great. Let's see this suplex move. <laughs> you got to get into this though. We're ready for it. Are you okay, Michael? Okay. So he just did a crazy wrestling move and defeated that other guy over there. Uh, but Jesus, not in a similar way, much greater way, Jesus actually defeated the grave. Okay, he didn't do some crazy wrestling move, but he came out of the grave. Then he appeared to a bunch of people for 40 different days. And then he rose to the heavens and sits at the right hand of God. And so Jesus, this little baby, grew up, lived a sinless life, died and defeated death. And that's why Simon and Anna were praising him when they saw this five-week-old baby. And so you probably have a lot of questions. We have some questions. And so to go through these questions, you can check these out on the screen.